Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Hanover, located in Hanover, Pennsylvania, between Union General Judson Kilpatrick and his division of approximately 5,000 men, and Confederate General Jeb Stuart and his Army of Northern Virginia, consisting of about 6,000 men. This happened on June 30th, 1863. General Robert E. Lee was desperate to keep the Union forces away from his own infantry as they recovered. Seeing a weakness in his defenses, Lee ordered General Stuart to take his cavalry and cross the Potomac and to take a position beside Confederate General Ewell and help him defend Ewell's right flank. Stuart took three brigades of his cavalry and encountered Union Major General Winfield Scott Hancock near Drainsville at Rouser's Ford. Ignoring his orders to stay on a defensive footing and keep in contact with Lee, Stuart decided to go on the offensive and crossed the Potomac on the early morning of the 28th. There he arrived at Rockville, Maryland and captured a large Union supply train, further delaying his progress. On the morning of June 30th, Stuart arrived at Hanover and attacked the Union's 18th Pennsylvania Cavalry, blowing through the defenses. In a desperate bid to stop Stuart, Union Brigadier General Elon J. Farnsworth's brigade under the command of Union General Kilpatrick's division counterattacked, slamming into the Confederate 2nd North Carolina Cavalry and almost capturing Stuart himself. Meanwhile, Union Brigadier General George A. Custer, yes folks, he is back, arrived to reinforce Farnsworth, allowing the Union forces that were still under attack to weather the Confederate assault. Stuart was not deterred as he moved north and east, trying to flank the Union cavalry and shelling the Union barracks at Carlisle. Once again, though, his brashness delayed his forces even longer in returning to Lee, who was trying to form up at the Cashtown Gap west of Gettysburg. This would cause Lee to lose a valuable reconnaissance tool on the eve of Gettysburg. Meanwhile, Union intelligence was working like clockwork and provided the needed information about the Confederate forces approaching Gettysburg itself. Casualties were fairly low for what was coming. With the Union incurring only 154 dead, wounded, and missing, the Confederates lost even less in casualties, with only 74 killed, wounded, or missing. However, the loss of Stuart's forces for reconnaissance would prove this loss would be much greater than the numbers indicate during the Battle of Gettysburg itself. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. 